We also have to talk about SRH. Uh, of course, Sunrise is Hyderabad. We were backing them since the auction. The three of us, when we were sitting at the auction, we kept for those two days saying, they're buying well, they're buying well. They, of course, bought well. They got derailed a little bit a week, two weeks before the IPL began. They said David Warner suddenly is not going to be there. And uh, that meant Kane Williamson came as his captain. And I, I don't know what, I'm very happy because I did call before that Kane Williamson is a better T20 player than people give him credit for. And he has shown that. Again, nice man, good captain. Seems to be a cohesive unit, the Sunrisers Hyderabad. Yeah, he surprised me. If, I mean, I, I didn't think he was going to be this kind of T20 bat. Yeah. I think it came from my, I saw his 80 of 55 or something last year at, at Hyderabad that he played at the Upal. And this is, this is more runs than Rohit Sharma, who's one of, who I still believe is one of the top white ball players in the world. Double, I think almost. Yeah. But more than Rohit Sharma scored in two seasons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I thought that innings against RCB, 81 of 42, was oh. one of the innings of the IPL. Yeah. And it was one meter away from, from being the winning from match. Being, the, uh, being a match winning inning. Yeah. And he was distraught. I was, I was lurking around. He was distraught at the end. So, it, it's, it's, he's been one of the players of the IPL for me because you normally look at an all-rounder like Sunil Narayan, bat and bowl. I'm saying he's been the all-rounder, bat and captain. One of my favourite reactions to Kane Williamson was when Michael Vaughan was here with us last week and we were talking about would SRH make any changes tomorrow and he said, oh you look at that team, Kane Williamson, that's 50 and it just, <laughs> it just sort of naturally came out, like you're just putting a 50 against his name. What a brilliant compliment, right? Yeah, and Shikhar has just come to the party. Yeah. It's good, I mean he's running into a bit of form, of course their worry is their middle order. Mm. I mean yeah. their middle order is their worry because, see, Pathan is not at the age when he's going to give you consistent runs anyway. And yeah. my, my only thing about them is that they've planned well, is that they probably would, they needed to play more deep, more of Deepak Huda. Yes. Yeah. Because he's not got enough games to really get a head of steam. And that's one thing they've they have got. have a very interesting question now. If Saha gets fit, yeah. do they play Saha? Saha apparently is fit. They're saying he's fit. Because Williamson is controlling the innings from three. They needed someone else to open the batting. Yeah. In Indian conditions, an Indian opener is better than an Alex Hales. Mm. And so, Srivats Goswami was sent out as an Indian player to play Indian bowlers in Indian conditions. And he delivered. Yeah. So, for all that, you know, Srivats Goswami might become the Sunil Narayan of that side. Yeah. Saying, go out. It releases an overseas player slot. They might be able to play another overseas so player So, they can down. play Brathwaite in the middle. They can play Brathwaite. Also, they ha the reason they have to play Brathwaite is they're a five bowler team. Mm. Served them very well for ten matches. The moment one or two of them started to go off, you know, uh, Bhuvnesh was back hurting a little bit, not the bowler he was, white ball not swinging. Suddenly, Siddharth call is just tapered off a little bit. They're getting hammered. Five bowlers are not enough, they need a sixth bowler. So, by Srivats Goswami going up, they release Alex Hales and they can play Carlos Brathwaite. Yeah, you think that's what they'll do? They have to. Also, the pitches again. Remember, I mean, Shakib, this is the one day and this thing are not easy pitches for spinners to bowl on. Yeah. I mean, Rashid will bowl on any pitch, but Shakib will not get the natural turn and what he gets out here. Not wide boundaries enough for him to be, you know, protected as it were. They need a sixth bowler. Yeah. They need a six bowler. I mean, Rashid can bowl on uh, the, the road on Marine Drive. He can bowl on a fur carpet. He can bowl on anything. He's, He's probably bowled on, you know, pavements yeah. out there. Pavements. That's a lot of wickets. 16 wickets. I was talking to Seva Ram Krishnan yesterday. I love talking leg spin to Seva. Yeah. And I said, how is he turning the ball so much from where he bowls? You know, if, if the, the wider your arm goes, the more your leg break will work yeah. and the less your googly will work. He almost bolts the other side from yeah. there. Yeah. And he's still turning the leg break. He said he's a, his leg break is, a, is a, a finger spinner's leg break, not a wrist spinner's leg break. Wow. So he said he just does that much. Whatever he does, yeah. you're now playing out his four overs. Yeah. So that, that's, that's fantastic. But yeah, I, I have a feeling they've become a little vulnerable. The little, aura just around, a bit. Yeah, the little aura around has dimmed a little bit. Ball swings, they're a different side. Yeah, and uh, of course, they'll take heart from the fact that Rashid, when he played against Semai at Bankade, just said he had a great day that day. So, they'll be telling him, more of same, please. Well, same, I think. <laughs> and they, all their bowlers actually, to get uh, yeah. MI, they, you can just invoke those happy memories. Invoke those happy memories of the Vankade when you play CSK. I think other than now, Nigidi is the man who's changed that because, see, you were never scared. You know, even if they got wickets off the attack, the CSK attack. Yeah. I think he and Cheher coming to form has given them bite. You know, yes. they have bite now. You know, whatever it is. 
and that is not good news for them because that's not good news for the SRH because otherwise yeah. you know you could think you'd chase down anything because this um, the CSK batting unit is a very very strong unit with the yeah, only way to beat them I think CSK are vulnerable as they're every year on a track that little little stop turn stop turn 150 kind of track they play thoda safe lose a couple of wickets early yeah. but on, on these kind of tracks Watson gets going Raidu gets going because the ball is going to come on in the last yeah. two games yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm looking I'm, I'm thinking CSK is going to be tough to stop 